Hi everybody, welcome back. Um, I'm Teresa. Today we are going to do clusters. I'm going to do a little craft with me clusters. Um, so I have these cute little doilies that came from, I bought these on Amazon. I thought they were the cutest thing. So they're just little die cuts and um, I'll try to remember to link it in the bottom. But they're not even two inches. They are just tiny and cute. <laughs> I thought they'd make good clusters. I also have some bling, um, some little flowers, um, stamps, some other little you know, lace, and some other bases that I can use. let's get started so um, I'm gonna do I like to work in multiples <laughs> so I'm gonna start with three of these and I just feel like it goes faster if I do that I don't know why um, so this is just a book that I have of old stamps and stuff so I'm gonna use some of this as pulling these pages out just grab them and go. Um, I got this at a um, estate sale. And then I have some little book page of another kind. So I think I'm going to start by ripping some of this up and just kind of placing it wherever I'm going to um, get these colored in fact let's oh here it is okay Add a little bit more color to these. These I cut out of, this is just um, printer paper and I thought I dyed. But I think I'd like these a little bit more colored. Especially these. I think these things would be fun colored a little bit. I think I'm going to add some of this little paper with a decorative on the one side. I'm just going to rip this part. Get the edges. Okay, now some people like to staple these. I don't. I'm not a big fan of. If I do staple them to go faster, I tend to um, then put something on top of the staple. Some really little just printouts that I have, and I have more. Here's some more little ones. 
Um, I will link below the digitals that I've used because they're from their different individuals. I like that one. Let me get my glue ready. So these are going to be going into the album that I have started creating. Um, I haven't decorated anything yet in there. Oops, I should have put that down first. Whoa. One. Let's glue this one down. I love this little tiny lace. Um, again, I took it from my mom. What can I say and make use of her lace? There we go. And I think we're going to add some bling onto these. I'm going to add a little bit of. There we go. And let's pull this out. Okay, those are a little bit too big. I want something littler. So I'm going to pull out my find them. All right. I don't have those in there. And I don't have Okay, so because these are so little, I think these blings are just a little too big. And I don't like the ratio of what they look like. So I'm going to put these back. We're not going to use those. Instead, we're using these, which are diamond dots. Um, I, they're leftovers from a project that I did. And let's put some right there. They really don't take a whole lot, so let's, you know, let's put three right here. Okay, because I can't find my other thing that you work with, I'm going to use some tweezers. Oop. 
Come on. <laughs> um, these are just left over from a project I had. We're going to do... And the glue will dry clear, but some of this is just a little too much. This one is a little too big. Okay. Let's get one more little drop here. There we go. So, totally not sun straight, but let's see if I'll focus. There we go. That is one. And see, those these diamond dots are totally tiny, which make it really good for these size <laughs> little ones I'm doing. So, I think I would like... I have tons of different colors of them. I think... I don't want yellow. That will be fun. We're going to grab this one, which has black and some sparkly white. Now, um, I know that, oh gosh, these are stuck. Okay. So I know that with these you can um, get just the diamond, like Joann's sells them. Um, I think Hobby Lobby has just the dots by themselves, if that's what you wanted to get. Okay, we're going to put one there and one there. I think we're just going to do two on this one. Um, so you can buy them just on their own. Oops. There. I think I want to add another one right there. Oh look, I have some black right down here. Perfect. So there's that one. Let's see if I'll focus. There we go. These are, I really like these little ones. And I think we're going to stick with some blue and put it right there just to add some, it'll add some dimension. We're only going to put, I think, two this time. One, two. And there is that. They're tiny, cute. I like it. Okay, so let's grab some of these others. These are um, just tags that I have. Yeah, different cluster bases that I have done. Some of these are little, we're not gonna use those. Those need to be in my tag bucket. <laughs> oh, there we go, that one would look cute. Okay, let's try these three. And I think we're gonna use a couple stamps. Okay, I'm going to start by just getting these edges. Oh, I 
I don't need that. There we go. I'm thinking because these are a little bigger, they can hold a little bit, you know, we're going to use a little bit bigger pieces of. We have six done. I really like these ones. I 
Okay, so trying to decide if we want to do more. Yeah, let's do a couple more of these small ones. Okay, we're going to do these last two and then we're going to call it done. Okay, there we go. So what we're gonna do is add more of that little jewels onto this. There we go. Okay, so I think let's do some white sparkles on this one. I'm gonna do that for both, so let's make sure we get a few out. Oh, there we have enough. Okay. One, three. We're going to do this one up on top. Oh, come on. Come out. There we go. Two, three, here we go, so while I'm finishing this up, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing um, if you um,
Okay, there we go. Sorry. So, this was a lot of fun. See, these clear really, when they dry, they dry really clear. So, I hope this inspired you guys. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And think of subscribing. And I will see you guys on the next crafting adventure. Thanks. Bye.